What are the best cellular data plans to keep connected while RVing or boating? It's time for our quarterly update. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and we track mobile internet options for RVers and cruisers who need to be connected during their travels, whether that's for remote work, entertainment, general web surfing or research. That's what we do. And of course, one of the top things that we are constantly tracking is data plans that can enable you to have a home-like or office-like internet connection on the road. And this is our quarterly update being put out in January 2021, the first of the new year, to the best cellular data plans that are currently on the market. If you are watching this video much after January 15th, 2021, be sure to follow up with our full guide to these data plans because any changes that crop up before we have time to put out our next video update will be posted there. So go there for your research to further get more information on all of these plans that we're about to talk about. I'm also going to be changing it up a little bit this time. Instead of going carrier by carrier, I'm instead going to break the options up by type of data device because you can use a cellular data plan in data only devices like mobile hotspots, cellular routers, smartphones, and tablets. And our criteria here for a top data plan is a plan that can reasonably serve as a home internet replacement. We're not looking for little bits of hotspot data. We are looking for data plans that can provide a copious amount of mobile hotspot data use plans that you can use to get computers, streaming devices, cameras, and other things online on your local area network in your RV or boat. So that's what we are focused on in this video. So first, let's start with hotspots and routers. These are going to be mobile hotspot devices. You might know them as jetpacks or MiFi's or cellular embedded routers like those that come from Pepwave, MoFi, CradlePoint, and others out there on the market. These all have a cellular modem inside, and then they create your local area network over, either over Wi-Fi or an Ethernet wired connection. These devices get you online, maybe bringing in multiple sources of internet, but the data plans that you can use in them are limited. There's not many data plans that you can use legit in these sorts of devices, but thankfully, we actually have some appealing options that might fit the need. So first, with Verizon. Verizon, there currently aren't a lot of great options, unfortunately. But if you have one of their unlimited postpaid smartphone plans, so get more, do more, play more, or start, you can add on to that a data-only connected device, and for as little as $15 to $30 per month, depending on the plan you have, you can add on a data-only device and get 30 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use, and then that data is slowed down to 600 kilobits per second. Now, if you happen to be in a 5G ultra-wideband uh, area and you have a 5G-capable device, there are other terms and limits to it, but as an RV or a boater, you're probably not going those places quite yet. So that is an option on Verizon. Now, AT&T, uh, over the summer, Cricket Wireless, which is their prepaid subsidiary. So the, their plans are on the AT&T network, and this and Cricket is owned by AT&T. They now have a data-only plan called Simply Data, and you have options starting at 20 gigabytes all the way up to 100 gigabytes per month. That 100 gigabyte plan goes for $90 per month, and you can easily switch even mid-month to their other tiered data and add data on as you need it. So it's a very flexible prepaid option. Just keep in mind with AT&T, this is prepaid, so you will be a lower priority than postpaid, but this is a great option that works in AT&T compatible mobile hotspot devices and routers. So great plan for that. On T-Mobile, just last month in December, they came out with what they're calling a mobile internet plan. And for the first time since T-Mobile has been around and been on our radar, they actually have a usable data plan. Their best plan, which they have said is for a limited time only with no ending date mentioned yet, is a 100 gigabyte plan for $50 per, per month that will work on pretty much every T-Mobile uh, authorized mobile hotspot device. They have a 5G device called the M2000 that a lot of people are going with, or 
routers as well that support T-Mobile's frequency bands. That is a great option uh, for T-Mobile access for legit data on their plans. For Sprint, now of course Sprint has been acquired by T-Mobile, but they are still operating as independent networks. But our favorite plan on the Sprint network is via the Calix Institute. Now this is a nonprofit plan that brings in some old terms uh, from when Sprint bought Clear Wireless many, many years ago, that basically requires them to offer a low cost plan to nonprofits. Now, if you join the Calix Institute, which is a nonprofit, they have access to this plan. You pay $500 for the year. And with that, you get a mobile hotspot device, as well as one year of unlimited Sprint service and now they are roaming onto T-Mobile's network when you don't have Sprint service. So the coverage map has been greatly expanded. This is a great option that works out to be as cheap as $33 per month for unlimited use on Sprint network. Now we have some honorable mentions and uh, the first will be uh, with Verizon. If uh, that uh, 30 gigabyte plan, if you don't have a postpaid smartphone plan to add that onto, you can do that standalone, but it is pretty pricey. But they do have a prepaid Jetpack plan, so you can get one of their Jetpack devices and for $65 per month, get 30 gigabytes of data. It is prepaid, so it will be a little lower priority than the postpaid option, but that is an option if you don't have a postpaid plan to add a, 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 a 30 gigabytes on for affordably. For AT&T, if you prefer a direct AT&T postpaid plan, they still are offering their AT&T wireless internet plans. This one is 100 gigabytes for $100 per month, but you have to use it on their wireless internet device, which is a larger router with a modem built in. So you are restricted to the device that you can use it on. You can't use that on other mobile hotspots or other routers. So that is a consideration there. For Sprint, uh, if you are a member of the FMCA, that's the Family Motor Coach Association, which is an RV club for RVers. You have to own a RV of some sort to become a member with them. You are then eligible for their Sprint Unlimited plan, which is a rental for $49.99 per month for unlimited data on the Sprint network. And you also can rent one of their hotspot devices for pretty affordably to get that plan. And of course, we do have to mention all of the third party unlimited resellers that are out there. Now, these are companies that come and go all of the time and they somehow get access to unlimited plans. Sometimes they're legit, but more often than not, they are using plans that they have access to against terms of service to sell them to you or rent them to you. They are on a month month basis. You will find them available for all of the cellular carriers out there. Um, just be aware, these plans can like disappear with little notice whatsoever. We hear complaints all the time of service going down. And these are gonna be companies, you might hear them on uh, other YouTube channels, referencing Nomad Internet, OTR Mobile, Fix Wireless, Boom, and other third-party resellers like this. So if you really need more data than some of these other capped data plans can provide, Consider those, but go in eyes wide open to the risks with them, which we have fully documented in our guide to unlimited data plans. So be sure to go and read that. See our video on unlimited data plans if we're more caveats on those third party resellers. And we do keep an active vendor list for each of the carriers that then you can go start your shopping with. And our members do have access to some additional notes, current pricing information, and a lot of these plans have soft data caps, usually in the few hundred gigabyte per month usage range. All right, now next, our smartphone plans that include a lot of mobile hotspot use that you can use if you're comfortable hotspotting off of your smartphone to create your local area network to connect your laptops and computers and streaming devices to and use that hotspot data. These are plans that might be suitable for those needs. Now on Verizon, the continuing champion is Visible. Now Visible is a prepaid owned subsidiary of Verizon and you are using Verizon's LTE and now 5G towers if you have a 5G compatible device. This plan is as low as $25 per month if you do party pay, that's where you have at least you put four people, you can even be random people on the internet on a shared plan, you each pay individually. $25 per month. It is unlimited on-device usage. So you can use as much data as you want on your smartphone itself, but it includes unlimited hotspot data for one device at a time connected. They do cap that at five megabit per second speeds. Now that's very usable speeds, uh, but it is capped. Just keep in mind, 
Visible has a lot of downsides. High ping times, it is very low priority, so if you're in a congested area, you will get slower speeds, and you only have access to native Verizon towers. No roaming on this plan. But it is a great option if hotspotting off a smartphone works for you. For AT&T, if you qualify for a business plan, they have a great smartphone plan. It's called Business Elite. It includes 100 gigabytes of high priority data on the device itself and 100 gigabytes of high speed mobile hotspot use off of the smartphone. And because this is a business plan, it is their highest priority that you as a consumer can get. So you do have to have a qualified business to get this plan, but it is a great option if you want a lot of hotspot data off of your smartphone. For T-Mobile, they have a plan. Um, it's not really visible and, and seeable on their website, but if you dig deep or go to a rep who knows about it, if you get their Magenta plan, you can have an add-on called Global Plus 15 Gigabyte. Now that 15 gigabyte is confusing. That 15 gigabyte applies to international use. You get 15 gigabytes of high-speed international use on that plan. But there is a little feature on this that makes a huge difference here domestically in the U.S. With this plan, you get unlimited high-speed mobile hotspot use off of your smartphone. So unlimited, no caps on that hotspot use. It is $120 per month total if you're a senior. Oh, 55 plus, you actually can get a little bit of a discount on that, but it, that is an option on T-Mobile, direct postpaid, so that's a great option. For Sprint, you can still get Sprint plans via T-Mobile by asking for their legacy plans, and they still have available, it's called Unlimited Premium. This one includes 100 gigabytes of high-speed mobile hotspot use off of the smartphone, and it is $80 per month, so that is an option that you might want to consider. Now, some honorable mentions. Ultramobile is an MVNO that resells T-Mobile network, and they currently have an ongoing promotion for $39 per month for a smartphone plan that includes 50 gigabytes of high-speed usage, whether on-device or mobile hotspot use. So if you want a smaller plan on T-Mobile's network, that's an option to look into. Just remember that it is an MVNO reseller plan. And another one that um, it doesn't provide a lot of data, but it is a great backup option. That's Google Fi. Now this is Google's MVNO and the phones that they offer with it actually get you connected to both T-Mobile and Sprint's and US Cellular's networks natively across the country. So it gives you a pretty good coverage map. Their plans start at $20 per month for a smartphone plan that gives you unlimited calling and text and then you pay by the gigabyte as you need it at $10 Per gigabyte. So as a backup option and a flexible plan, it's great, but it does get pricey if you need a lot of data because that $10 per gigabyte adds up. Yeah. They do have an unlimited plan as well. That one is actually capped at 22 gigabytes of data in a, in a month. So just keep that in mind. Google Fi, great backup option. And you can even get a data-only SIM card if you have this plan for no extra cost that shares that data pool. So if you want to put it in a hotspot or router, that is an option too. All right, now let's move into tablet plans. And this is a recommendation that we are making to a lot of people because you can do a lot on a tablet itself. You can do Zoom and video calls and video broadcasting on it because they have built-in cameras and microphones. So there's a lot that you can do. You can do your surfing on them. You can get a Bluetooth keyboard with this and actually use it kind of like a laptop. So consider if you can what you can do on a tablet itself because there are some affordable unlimited tablet plans that you can do and use all the data you want on the tablet itself. It's also great for street video streaming. You can do your Netflix on this and even HDMI out a cable to a larger screen if you want. Now on Verizon, if you have one of those postpaid unlimited smartphone plans, you can add a uh, unlimited plan for as little as $15 to $30 per month to your plan and get unlimited on device with some mobile hotspot use included as well. If you don't have a uh, postpaid smartphone plan with Verizon, then it is $90 a month standalone. So that gets pricey there. But if you already have one of those plans, it's great. Just add one on. With AT&T, you can add on a tablet for $20 per month if you have one of their postpaid plans, and that's a great option. But if you don't have an AT&T postpaid account, you can get a standalone tablet plan for just $20 per month plus taxes and get unlimited on-device usage. And we're even getting reports that mobile hotspot use off of the tablet is not currently metered. So uh, that might be an option as well. In fact, we recommend that a lot to those people with tablets to use those plans on. 
With T-Mobile, you can also add on an unlimited tablet to your Magenta plan if you have one of those with them, and that's just $20 per month. If you don't, you can do that standalone for $65 per month for an unlimited tablet plan. And if you go back to those Sprint legacy plans through T-Mobile, you can still get a standalone unlimited uh, device plan on your tablet for $25 per month. That gives you unlimited on-device usage and 10 gigabytes of mobile hotspot use. Oh. Uh, that wraps up some data options that will hopefully help you with your shopping as you're going through your research and trying to find what are the right plans for you for cellular data. Just keep in mind, it's not just about the data plans. It's also about the equipment that you're using. Hotspots, routers, tablets, smartphones, and your signal enhancing strategy boosters and antennas. And we are constantly tracking all of this information over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So do come over, get some more education on all of these options. Follow our videos here on this channel. We're constantly putting out new stories as new equipment and plans become available. And this is all made possible by our premium members. We are not sponsored. We don't do third-party advertising on our content on the website. And we don't sell stuff. Our incentive is not to get you to buy stuff via affiliate kickbacks. We are member and community funded and our premium members make all of this free content possible. And for that gratitude, they get a bunch of extra perks such as our reviews, our in-depth uh, content, our classrooms, vendor discounts, and an interactive forum where they can come and ask questions and we can help guide them through their selection process and questions as they have them. So if mobile internet is an important part of your lifestyle, do consider becoming a member. Come join us, help make this all possible, and we can help you make your mobile dreams possible as well. Till next time, may the bandwidth be with you. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.